Hi and welcome to Shurasa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with optimization with equality constraints. Let's jump into it right away. Now firstly I'll start from the very beginning. We need to draw a strictly quasi-concave curve for z equals to fx which is for the first one also quasi-convex. Let's see how it looks like. These are the following acceptable curves for quasi-convex. Let's see for the next case of not quasi-convex. These are the examples of not quasi-convex. Mind you, any other figure other than these three are not acceptable. Let's do for the next case of not convex. Similarly, these are the examples for not convex. All these three figures you need to draw when these questions are given. These are all the possible sets for a quasi-concave curve z equals to fx being not convex. Now let's try for all the rest of the three cases. These are the three cases for not concave. Now, for neither concave nor convex, for this there are only two conditions as given. Now we'll do for both convex, concave and convex. In the last case, for both concave and convex, notice that a straight line represents both a concave and convex and hence whenever this question is given you need to draw both this question both an upward sloping and a downward sloping now let's do some more interesting sums let's see now let's do a different kind of question over here we are given an utility function the prices of two goods and B equals to 130. We have to find or write the Lagrangian function. Let's see how to do this. Notice over here B means 130. <coughs> Thus, this will be our equation Px plus Py into Y equals to 130. This is because a person is restrained by this cost. Thus, the total amount of cost spent on x and y should be less than or equal to 130. Thus, we will always take the equality condition of 130. Thus, it will come to 4x plus 6y equals to 130. Now, for Lagrangian equation, will simplify it as 130 minus 4x minus 6y equals to 0. This represents the budget constraint that a person has. Now the Lagrangian function will be the utility function plus the resource constraint multiplied with lambda. Let's see what it comes to. The utility function is given as x plus 2 into y plus 1 so we'll just multiply lambda with this resource constraint that is 130 minus 4x minus 6y thus this is the Lagrangian function that is required in the question let's see what number b suggests now we need to find the optimal levels of purchase x star and y star. Notice I have written already the Lagrangian function. Why? Because we are going to use this to find our answer. We will use this Lagrangian function as we will first divide ZL with respect to lambda which comes to 130 minus 4x minus 6y. Now we will find similarly ZLx which equals y plus 1 minus 
four lambda equals to zero as we always equate to find our answer now z l y equals to x plus two minus six lambda which equals to zero now we'll use these three conditions as simultaneous equations to find the value of x y and lambda let's see what the value comes thus the value obtained here is lambda star equals to 3 x star equals to 16 and y star equals to 11 thus these are the constraints that we were given and these are the answers that was required in our original question now we'll have to find the second order sufficient condition for maximum satisfied let's clear the screen and we'll start off again for this we need to find the Hessian de determinant that is a dash equals to 0 4 6 4 0 1 6 1 0 this is equals to 48 greater than 0 hence this since this condition is satisfied we can say that utility is maximized now if you are wondering where these values came from the first column is the value of x the second column is the value of y in our previous question and the third of lambda remember we found out z l lambda z l x and z l y these are the three equations from which we derive this Hessian determinant now let's see the last question does the answer in b give any comparative static information no because we only obtain the value of x star y star and lambda star we do not have any equations or any such other information suggesting so thus the last answer will be no hope this video was of help to you in the next video we're gonna solve much tougher sums with student face and just like before I'm gonna try and make it easy because trust me you all can do it press the like subscribe and the notification button to stay with us in our next video I'm gonna be doing same optimization problems but the questions will be a lot harder and a lot different from the ones which we have done over here thank you